morning everybody today I'm going to be showing you 24 hours in my life as a pastry chef so you can see my whole schedule from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to bed so I get up around 10 10 30 in the morning usually I get woken up by my cat um, I do wake up this late because I get home pretty late so you'll see that at the end of the video The first thing that I always do is make my bed. It just makes me feel like I have a bit of organization in my life first thing, so I always get that done immediately. And then I just go to feed Stevie and make myself some breakfast. Normally I just have a bowl of cereal or something easy like pancakes or eggs or something. Then I'll usually try to get some work done, whether that is editing a video or some errands or whatever I need to do. Today I was just ordering some groceries so I could go pick them up the next morning. Then I'll get ready and pack my bag with my uniform for the day so you can see like I got dressed and brushed my hair and everything. I just didn't show that on camera. Then I'm just putting my uniform in my bag so I'm ready to go. And I just say bye to Stevie, give her some scratches, and then I head out the door. So this day when I got into work, the first thing that I did was bread. Normally my coworker actually does the bread, but she wasn't here that day, so I took on the task. So I just took the dough out of the container. The dough was actually pre-made by somebody else. I didn't have to make the dough that day, which was nice. And then I just measure it out and roll it into little bread rolls. Then I just clean up all of the flour on the station so I can do some other prep. So I didn't show everything that I did today like I did in my last day in the life video. I just kind of wanted to give you an overview and we actually have gotten pretty busy since I filmed that last video so I have a lot less time to actually film while I'm at work, which is why I don't really film there as much anymore. As well as the fact that a lot of people that I work with don't want to be on camera, so I have to kind of plan around that and who's going to be there on which days. So it has been difficult for me to film at work, unfortunately, and I haven't been able to get as much footage. So you can see here I'm just egg washing the bread and I'm going to put it in the oven. We didn't have family meal this day, so I actually took a walk to a Japanese restaurant nearby and picked up some lunch. I took the bread out of the oven about halfway and brushed it with some rosemary butter that I had been steeping on the stove and put it back in the oven to finish baking. I took a break to enjoy my udon noodles that I got and then I just took the bread out of the oven, they were finished baking, and I gave them one more brush with that rosemary butter and they looked so delicious. I was really proud of how they came out since I don't normally make the bread. Then I just get ready with my usual prep, so I'm making my souffle. If you have questions about the souffle or want to know the recipe, I do have a video on the souffle recipe and I also talk a little bit about it in my day in the life video, so make sure you check those two videos out if you want to know more about our souffle.
just setting up the line. I do tape pretty much everything down because I'm clumsy and the amount of times that I've pushed things off and dropped them on the floor, I don't even want to admit. So I do tape a lot of the stuff down. We have a s'mores tart on the menu currently, so I was just making a Swiss meringue here that we top the tart with. And this is just some strawberry pâte de that I made off camera. And then I just jumped right into service. I didn't do much prep during service this day. I actually had my boss come and help me out since my other coworker wasn't here. And we got a lot of the prep done so I was able to just do service since we are a little bit busier since the last time I showed myself at work. So we have a Bananas Foster and a S'mores dessert on the menu right now. So the Bananas Foster gets a caramelized banana and the S'mores gets a toasted marshmallow. So you can see me here just toasting those two things. And some people asked what I was writing on the plates in my last video. 99% of the time it's either happy birthday or happy anniversary, nothing exciting. And the servers just take the tickets to the tables and the guests enjoy their desserts. Then it comes time to scrub down at the end of the night. This was actually a pretty early night. I was scrubbing down at around 10.30. Normally I get out around 11. And then I just got changed and headed out. So I got home and I was greeted by Stevie, the star of the show. And then I kind of just unwind. I got in the shower at around 11.30 midnight, you know, gave Stevie her dinner, put on some clumpy clothes, and then I decided to make myself some dinner. So this night I made steak and some asparagus. I almost said artichoke, but I had asparagus. Normally I'll listen to a podcast or watch some TV or something while I make my dinner and unwind for the day. So today I was just watching How I Met Your Mother. It's one of my favorite shows ever. And then I always get some chores done when I get home. So today I was just scrubbing down my kitchen, which is honestly my favorite chore. I'm like obsessed with keeping my kitchen clean. 
wonder why. So I was just scrubbing down my kitchen. I did also do the floors, but I didn't get that on camera. So I do a lot of chores really late at night. So this was about 1 a.m. that I was doing all of this, and then I just decided to scoop myself some ice cream and head into bed. So I just watched some more How I Met Your Mother and decided it was time to go to sleep at around 2 a.m. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next Friday. Bye, guys.